Ladies, how are we going to celebrate this year? You have done so much. You have done so much. You should be so proud of yourselves. So how are we going to celebrate ourselves? I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try Work till I die, till I die, till I die I'm gonna fail and get up Cause I'm not giving up on my dream Hey gorgeous and welcome to my channel I'm Kapana Shumange and this is How I Do Things The show where you send me your questions And I'll let you know how I would do things And I can take it as entertainment, use it as advice Take it don't take it use it don't use it listen do what you will with it do you know why do you know why because na me ek <laughs> darling i am not a professional i'm not a professional whatsoever i'm just letting you know what i would do for us in your shoes i'm turning 31 this weekend what <laughs> 30 whole one i'm actually not scared about it i'm actually not like irritated at getting old i'm quite excited I'm quite excited about I'm quite excited about August. I'm quite excited about what's coming. I'm excited about where life is going. I can see what God is doing. And I know that what I see is just the tip of the iceberg of what God is doing. So I'm quite excited. But I received this question in my inbox and I was just like, perfect timing, doll. Thank you so much for sending me this question. This Chiquita, she says that she's got her birthday coming up and she wants to know, what does a person do to celebrate themselves? Like not, you know, celebrating with other people because I think a lot of the times when we want to celebrate, especially our birthdays or we want to celebrate ourselves or the achievements that we had, why don't you throw a party so that everybody can be there? Celebrate in a way that other people can see you celebrating. But how do you genuinely do something for yourself? How do you celebrate yourself? Well, it doesn't have to be you throwing a party. It doesn't have to be you doing something that everybody can see, but something that genuinely means something to you. Almost monumental, you know, a milestone in your life and saying, you know what, babe, you've got the children, you've studied, you've built the business, you're doing well career-wise. Today, we celebrate you. So I did a bit of brainstorming. I was just like, you know what, actually, this is a really important thing. Whether it's your birthday, it's not your birthday. Whether it is something just in the middle of nowhere, where you just look at yourself and you say, you know what, I think I don't need somebody else's permission to celebrate myself. Let me celebrate what I have done. Let me have a thanksgiving of myself with myself. Let me have thanksgiving to the Lord for what he has done for me. Personality, you know? Here are eight ideas on how you can celebrate yourself as a woman. Number one, if you need permission from anyone, I'm giving it to you right now. Be selfish. Be completely, completely selfish. It's almost like we need permission for this one. I feel it. I feel nervous about it. I think to myself, you know, a lot of the times when you think about having a good time and when you think about doing something, if you're a mom and you're a wife and you have a family, you immediately think of including everyone. And you always think about everyone. Every hour, every minute of your day is spent in relation to how is my man and how's my baby? How is my business? How is the things that I do outwardly? And you don't ever have that opportunity to say, what do I do for myself completely selfishly without having to even consider those people. <laughs> you always have to consider them. And in celebrating yourself, sometimes you need that permission to say that, you know what? Choose what you want to do. And guess what? You don't have to do it with them. Do it by yourself. Number two is something that I think I'm definitely going to do for myself which is write yourself a letter of appreciation. If there's one thing that many of us feel like we might lack in life is appreciation. Like people just knowing that, do you know what I had to go through to do this for you? And we should never think that way, but sometimes we just get exhausted. Expanding energy for others. And maybe we just want a little bit of appreciation. One thing you should never do is wait for appreciation from other people. So show that appreciation to yourself. All the appreciation that you want from everyone else, your mother, your father, your family, everyone. Congratulate yourself. Appreciate yourself. Weigh in on the things that you did for yourself. So you don't need any of those appreciations or validations from anyone else. Write yourself a letter on really good paper. 
Go buy yourself a Sorafsky pen and write yourself a really good letter of appreciation. Blow your bubble. Blow your horn. Boo, 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 boo. On a very serious note, spank yourself in that letter. Just treat yourself so good. To say all the good things about you and what you have done and show yourself all the appreciation that you would love to see and all the appreciation that you don't give yourself. Because a lot of the times we don't even appreciate ourselves. We are just there, just doing things, doing things, doing things and we don't take a second to say, you know what, babe, flip man, you're awesome. Oh, awesome, you are bodacious. You are just bootylicious. And just so delicious as a person. Number three is where we start to spend the money, darling. I've seen this happen quite a number of times. So I'm thinking to myself, this is actually a really good idea. I love it. I might just do it. Might not do it. Because I, I think I'd want to take my pee with me. A solo staycation. This happens. Doesn't matter, babes. Take the kids to the grandmother. Tell your husband you can go hang out with the man. Whatever. Go on a solo staycation. What? Let's start with staycation. So staycation means you're going to go into the hotel room, you're going to go to the resort, you're going to go to the B&B, wherever you're going to stay, and stay there. You're going to stay there. You're going to stay in the resort. You're going to stay in the lodge. You're not going, it's not trying to do all the activities in the world. You're staying there, inside there. That's a staycation. You get there and you stay there. Solo staycation is when you go by your ace or by yourself. Go on a solo staycation. Think about your life. Write your letter of appreciation to yourself. Walk around in your panty. Get bubbles, get champagne, get strawberries and cream. Just go by yourself to a beautiful place with a beautiful view. Take a drive and it's amazing. Number four, we're spending even more money. Buy yourself an expensive handbag. I'm not talking about 2,000, 3,000 Rand. I'm talking about 30, 40K. Something you know you have to save for and something you know you have, it takes a chunk, darling. This one may be something that you might not be able to do immediately. Maybe you might actually have to save for it. But, but being able to just take that money, swipe for that thing, and you're just like, I did that for me. Thing about a handbag is that kind of musola dating. It doesn't necessarily have the hugest piece of value in terms of it doesn't add to your house it's not really that functional you don't actually have to use it a lot of the times so you don't actually get a lot of wear out of it you know that amount of money could easily be a deposit for a car but when you spend it on yourself i feel like it's the most ultimate selfish act but when you've been working hard babe when you've been focused for long when you know that this next year I am putting in so much time and effort into achieving this dream that I have put in so much time and effort into this career, into this business, into this family that over the next year, I'm going to take that money that I could have gone on a vacation overseas with and I'm going to buy something for me that no one else can use but me. And yes, it is an expensive piece, but think about it. Are you not worth it? When will you ever get to spoil yourself like this? So if you can't do it this year for your birthday, do it next year and just tell yourself, I am buying myself an expensive luxury handbag and it's just going to be amazing. Or luggage. Oh, love luggage. <gasps> luggage. Ooh. Number five costs way less money and that is to envision the most powerful version of yourself. I do this and it turns me on. Um... On a very serious note, it is, okay? Create a vision board of yourself. Put a picture of yourself right in the middle and all the things that you envision about yourself around it. From your shoes, to your hair, to your attitude, to your lipstick, your career, your office, the views that you'll be having, your private jet, everything that is a symbol of who you are at the time. Aunties, I can just see it. Create a vision board of self of a powerful self who knows thyself, loves thyself, and accepts thyself. From a life point of view, from an attitude point of view, and I always imagine my power walk in a specific city, wearing specific things, having a specific car, living a specific life, going to a specific office, 
and just that power for me and envisioning that with no one's permission telling me how I should envision myself. Number six is my favorite and that's how I celebrated my 30th last year was to dress up for the ball. Whose ball? Cinderella. I'm going to Cinderella's ball. Do not mess with me. I did my hair. I did my makeup and I got into my wedding dress. My, the whole shebang, like everything, the train, everything. I was in the whole thing and I stayed in that thing for like a good chunk of the day and it was, I loved it. Do you need permission? No, you don't. Whether it is your birthday, it's not your birthday, take the best dress that you have in your wardrobe. Special dresses and special clothing are not meant for special occasions. Special occasions don't come around enough. If you need to go buy yourself a ball gown, go buy yourself a ball gown. Go hire it, wear it, prance around the house in your ball gown. Who gives a crap? That's how you celebrate yourself. Hmm? And then you can add on these three things, okay? Number seven, book yourself a personal photo shoot like a celebrity style professional photo shoot and these days it's not even that expensive okay you book a place for an hour they do your hair they do your makeup okay sometimes a lot of the times you go do your own hair but you can get somebody to do your hair and your makeup a lot of the times these studios come with a photographer the location and a makeup artist book a makeup artist to do your beat get there with your outfit done and then get there and just be oh just feel it let them make sure they have a a, a fan so that the wind is blowing into you know that moment that one you want it so book yourself a shoot dress up to the nines uh, and just feel amazing this is for you for you oh love this idea and then finally number eight Buy yourself some champagne, darling, and pop that bottle and drink it all by yourself. Or celebrate with some friends, but buy some champagne, some really good champagne that was actually made in champagne. Not sparkling wine. Not sparkling wine. Champagne, darling. Go and find out which brands are made in champagne. And then you look at the brands you like. If you're not usually a, a, a champagne drinker, don't get a brut, get a rosé or get a brut rosé. If you are a champagne drinker, get yourself a good brut, get a vintage bottle or oh, pop it, darling. And just enjoy yourself, celebrate yourself. Oh my goodness, this is also the month of August, which is Women's Month. So to every single woman, celebrate yourself in one way or another. Get at least one bottle of champagne, go and drink it, celebrate yourself, toast to yourself, toast to the good things that God has done for you, toast to the fact that you're alive and God is not done with you yet. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below which, which idea you really like the most. Or give us more ideas on how we can celebrate ourselves. Until later days, beautiful people. I'm Kabana Shimanke and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you for making it right until the end. Now if you have not subscribed and you're here, huh? subscribe. <laughs> Feel free to binge watch. Until later days. Toodles.